Unify Network Application 8.4.59 has been out a little while now and I'm going to show you a quick video on what some of the latest updates are and there's some really good features inside here. So if we have a quick look at the top right here, so it says Unify Network Application, add support for Passpoint and Hotspot 2.0, Packet Capture, AP Analyzer for access points. So this is a really big one, the AP Analyzer. It has Pro AV support and we've seen the release of Unify Play and what that's bringing. So that will also be on there and advanced IGMP snooping. There's a few little features at the end that I'm gonna show you which aren't the highlights of this, but they're actually some really useful features that a lot of people will find useful. So let's jump into the first, which is Passpoint and Hotspot 2.0. So this basically simplifies public Wi-Fi networks and enabling seamless and secure connections for guest devices across multiple venues. So I have just read that off there, but it sums it up nicely. So they do actually have a page on their website which shows you how to go about setting this up. Um, and it's literally built on a standard that simplifies it. It shows you how to set up the radius for it. And if we want to have a quick look at how this works inside the Unify console, we can click Passpoint just here and it will tell you some of your devices are not supported. So you can fill in all the information on this. So we have the venue name, the venue type, the network name, the IP address availability and everything else that you would need to get this set up. So again, if this is something you want to see in a bit more detail, let me know down in the comments. Next, we have Packet Capture. Now, this one I feel is a really big one and is going to be great for a lot of people. So no longer do you need to run Wireshark's off this. You can go ahead and download the file from the AP directly and it will give you all the information you need. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the test at the end. So do stick around and we'll have a look at this. But I'll show you quickly how we do this on here. So I have a U7 Pro connected to the network. If you want to know what firmware version I'm running, it's 7.0.66 and it does say on here you need to be running the latest firmware and it has a full list of the supported models. Basically, from what I can see, anything from a U6 upwards it is supported. So unfortunately, if you are running an AC Pro or AC Lite, they are not supported with the packet capture. One good thing I'm really looking forward to is the fact that it's coming on gateways and switches. So this is, again, a really big thing when you're troubleshooting issues or trying to figure out what's going on on your network. This is going to be really useful. So to do the packet capture, you can go ahead and select it choose the network you want to capture on, how long you want to capture for, and you can even choose whether you want the wireless connectivity or the uplink port. And if you really want to drill down, you can go ahead and choose 2.4, 5, or even 6 gigahertz. We have the AP analyzer, which you probably saw just then. Again, we'll have a look at that in a few moments. We have the Pro AV support. So again, you're looking at the USW Pros, the 24 and 48 port, the enterprise switches and the new Pro Max range as well. We also have advanced IGMP snooping and that adds some additional features on here such as fast leave. So these are some of the improvements that I wanted to show you. So we have the, re the renaming of the default network, which is quite useful. So if I go to my networks, you can see I have the default and I now have the ability to rename that, which is very small and minor, but it's very useful at the same time. So you can now go ahead and edit the mask and the range even when auto scale network is enabled. There's added support for showing IPv6 on the devices. There's channelization on the Wi-Fi settings. So if I quickly go ahead and show you here, we have the channel optimization, which is done daily. You have the option to optimize now and you can go to radio management. And there's a couple of extra features down the side about adding things. And there's a couple more features down the side around alphabetic sorting, QoS options, the added custom option for the DNS shield, and there's now improved auto network scaling. So when your network hits 90%, it will go ahead and auto scale for you. So you don't need to worry about running out of DHCP addresses. So let's jump in now and have a look at the packet capture because that was obviously one of the key things that we wanted to take a look at. So let's jump to our AC Pro and we can go ahead and look at the analyzer first. So on here, you can see we can select all the different APs we have. There's a bunch of different options down here. First, it shows you all the settings at the top here. So what channel you're using, what width you're using across your different Wi-Fi networks and what your retries are like. Um, I don't actually have anything on here, otherwise it would show me some additional stuff on here as well. We have what clients are connected and what their signal strength is. So really good to be able to see what's struggling and what's not your connectivity. So this was actually sat on the main radio page before, but it's, so it's moved to here. So you can see the connectivity of the client and you have some filter options in the top right hand corner. So we can look at utilization, for example, or the TX retries, your average signal strength, the number of clients you have on the network, 
or even the CPU and memory. Let's go ahead now and try the packet capture. And what we do right here is we'll select wireless, we'll leave it on the default network and we'll do 30 seconds worth of traffic. So once those 30 seconds are up, you can go ahead and click download file and that will download it for you. And then I'm gonna bring across Wireshark. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in too much into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and file open and then I'm gonna choose a file. When it opens up, you can see it's what you expect to see from a normal Wireshark packet. So if you wanna find out exactly what's going on, I would suggest you start using some of the display filters. If you need to understand how Wireshark works, I'm sure there's loads of tutorials out there. Um, or if you really want me to put something together, let me know down in the comments below. And you can see there's some standard DNS queries that are happening here, um, some ICMPs. There's a normal standard Wireshark packet capture that you would expect to see. So the fact that this is built into the AP now makes things a hell of a lot easier. And the absolute last thing that I do wanna show you is the IPv6. So they've added support in for IPv6 for the unified devices. And just down here, you can see we have the IP address and the link local address for IPv6. So for anyone that's using IPv6 at the moment, this is obviously a very useful feature that you're gonna have within your network. I hope you found this video useful. It was a very quick one just to show you some of the updates. But remember to do hit the subscribe button and like this video. Or if there's anything more that you want to see in the future, let me know down in the comments below. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.